Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see 3D camera tracking inside Fusion. So now we are inside Fusion here and just we have to import our footage. So now we are inside this Fusion footage folder and just we have to select our sort. So now just you can select your sort folder and then drag and drop into this Fusion here. Or if you want, you can just open this folder and just select this starting frame here and just simply drag and drop into this Fusion here. So just select and drag and drop. Now after this just we have to view this footage inside this fusion so simply just we can select and then drag and drop into this first viewer here and just uh, click on this single viewer here. Now press ctrl f and play and check so this is a sort here. So this sort just we have to track inside fusion. Now just stop this here and just select this footage and hold shift and just drag and drop into this timeline here. So this will set this timeline duration according to this footage duration or according to this footage frame range here now just simply we can play and check so first because just we have to track camera for this sort so just we have to mask out this moving object whichever this this one here this dog here okay so for this just we can create a mask so simply just we can take this maybe so any mask you can take maybe you can take polygon or you can take b spline so here just i have selected maybe this b spline and just play this play at it and just click on this B plan and just create a shape. Now select all points, then move this play head and just we have to animate this mask according to this object movements here. So now again just move here. Now press S and little bit scale down here. Now maybe this is sufficient for us. Then after this we have to take a camera tracker node. So simply hold control and space bar and type camera tracker and just we can select this camera tracker and just connect with this footage so just connect it here and just select this camera tracker then right side inside this inspector window first we have to check this preview auto track locations so this will display actually these features or points here so just we have to check so now you can see all these points here so these points just i am going to track for this sort here but you will also see some points on about this object or whichever this moving object so you can see this one here so just we have to ignore all these points on about this moving object so for this just i have created about this mask so you can see and just we have to connect this mask with this mask input whichever this track mask input so just we can connect it here like this now if you will see Actually, I have ignored all these points outside from this mask. So for this what we can do, so just select this mask and just make it invert. So now if you will select this camera tracker node, so you will see we are getting all these points only outside from the mask. Okay. And inside this mask, we are not getting any points here. So if there is any moving object, then simply you can ignore by creating any mask according to your requirements you know after they just we have to increase some numbers of point so just again we have to select this camera tracker node then right side inside the inspector panel and just we have to adjust some this detection threshold and also minimum feature separations here so just little bit if you will see this so both parameters just we have to adjust so first just i am going to adjust this detection feature so just little bit reduce this one here can see and also this minimum feature separation and just reduce this one here so maybe these are sufficient point for this sort here then after this we have to track over this sort so simply just we have to click on this auto track and if you want you can also check this bi-directional tracking so this will first track forward then backward here so now just check this one also after this just we have to click on this auto track so remember this one if you want you can again click on this camera tracker then only you can see all these points here now just we have to click on this auto track here so now fusion is tracking your sort now tracking is completed then after this we have to solve our camera so before that first we have to save our compositions here or project here then click on file save and just give a name 
Now after this just I am going to solve our camera. So again inside this inspector panel just we have to click on this solve then we have to click on solve. So now camera solve is completed and right side in our this solve summary you can see this so this is our actually average solve error which is 0.5 so this is good for this solve here so suppose if you are getting error this above one pixel so we have to reduce this error but this is sufficient for this solve but still just i am going to little bit improve this camera solve so for this just we have to use all these three parameters here so first minimum track length so just we have to increase this one so we type it here 10 frame so just we have to type 10 and just a little bit reduce this track error so you can see see some points are selected here so all these red points and yellow points a little bit also reduce this maximum solve error not too much but little bit otherwise maybe this can also delete some important points here now after this just we have to click on the delete and some ground points also maybe just click on the delete so after this just again we have to solve over this camera then only this will update it here so again we have to click on this solve now you can see this is our actually improved camera solve here which is average error 0.4 here still suppose if you want to little bit improve then you can also adjust some values here so maybe make it 15 frame and little bit just we have to reduce now again just we have to delete all these points here then again we have to click on solve so just we have to play and check over this camera track now this is looking good here even if you want you can also select some points manually so again just simply you can drag and drop and just you can press delete so like this you can also delete some points here so maybe this one also just you can select and delete now again just we have to click on this finally camera solve here so like this if you want you can also just improve your camera solve here but this solve is sufficient for us now after this just i am going to export this camera solve and just we will orient our scene so for exporting just we have to click on this export tab here then downside you can see in transform or scene orientation or origin you can also define before exporting your camera solve here so for this just i am going to define origin here then after this just we will define our ground plane so maybe this is our origin point so here i have selected this first point then we have to define as a origin so for this just we have to click on this unaligned because this camera solve is aligned here okay so if you want to suppose adjust maybe scene orientation all these things before exporting so first we have to click on this unaligned okay then only just we can define all these values here now we have to click on this unaligned now you can see this one here so here i have selected this point and just click on this set from selection so first here i have defined our this origin here then after this just i have also defined our ground plane or you can see this xg plane so if you want you can for ground plane you can select multiple points here so just i am going to define maybe all these points on our this ground so just simply just we can select some points on our this ground so maybe all these points and just click on this set from selections so now here i have also defined over this ground plane whichever this xg plane then after this we have to click on again this aligned here then after this we have to click on this export so in about this node graph you will get this setup here so this is actually mainly created from our this camera tracker node so after exporting we will get all the nodes here so this is our main camera then this point cloud and this is ground plane and this is merge node and this is our render node here then after this just we have to select over this merge node and just we have to view into our this viewer here so now we are inside over this fusion 3d view or perspective view so simply hold the control button and middle mouse button scroll so just we can zoom in zoom out this 3d view then hold alt and middle mouse button just we can orbit this 3d view and hold only middle mouse button simply just we can pan this 3d view here 
so now here after this just we have to right click in our this perspective view and just we have to go to this camera option and just we have to select over this camera 3d one so now we are looking through this camera view here so first if you want to adjust all these locator size or you can say these point size here then simply you can select this point cloud and just you can adjust this point size here here and this is our ground plane here even if you want to change color this ground plane then you can click on this material and just you can click on this color and just you can select any color now here i have selected this red one so easily just we can see so now here if you will see actually this scene is not orient properly so after this suppose if you want to again little bit orient your scene then again we have to select this main camera tracker here after this again we have to go to this export tab and downside again we have to click on this unaligned now after this just you can manually adjust all these parameters say maybe if you want to adjust rotation maybe in x y in z axis then manually you can adjust so remember this one first we have to click on this unaligned then only just we can adjust all these values here so now just a little bit i want to rotate in y axis just simply just we can rotate in y axis so now after this again we have to click on this align and just we have to click on this update previous export so this will automatically update whatever camera track you have exported means all the node this will update it here okay so again just we have to select and just we have to click on this update previous export here so now you can see this updation here so maybe this is looking good even suppose if you want you can just select this point cloud node and just pass through this one so just only just we can focus on over this ground plane here so little bit just still we have to rotate so again just we can select this camera track and just we can rotate in y axis so remember this one just we have to again click on this and align and just we can rotate it here now again we have to click on this align then again update previous solve here so this will update it here so like this if you want you can also manually just orient your scene then after this just again we have to select this point cloud and just we can adjust size because here i have updated over this camera so also again just we have to reduce size and just we have to change over this ground plate color now maybe this is looking good so if you want you can just simply test your scene so just play and check so now this is looking good here so like this if you want you can manually orient your scene and remaining thing just you can adjust according to requirements here now finally just i am going to create some test object into this 3d scene here so for this again just we have to, to enable over this point cloud so here i have selected and just enable maybe this one here now just i am going to create maybe at this point position just a, a test geometry here so here i have selected over this point then right click here then go to this point cloud and just click on this create shape so this will just create this cube here now you can see downside here this one so at this point position whichever this auto point which is 1583 this will just create a cube here then after this what we have to do if you want you can just delete this merge node and just unplug this auto node from this point cloud and direct connect with this merge node here now just simply we can select this one here then go to transform and adjust this cube size or this test object size so just we can adjust it here now after this just we have to again go to perspective view so then right click go to camera and just select this perspective view so easily just we can see over this 3d object so just this 3d object just we have to place on over this ground plane or you can say on over this grid here so if you want you can just simply right click here then go to the 3d option and just you can hide and show your grid so so by default this will also show you this grid here but if you want you can just simply go to 3d option and just you can hide this grid so according to requirement just you can hide and show this grid also now again just if you want to look through camera then you can also select this camera so now we are getting actually this image plane and also we are getting this grid so this is actually totally depends on your requirements here now just again right click and go to 3d option and just hide this grid here after this again we can right click here then go to camera and just go to this right view so usually just we can place over this test object on top of this ground here so again just select this one here and just move it up even still a little bit just size 
now again right click and just again view through this camera view here now you just we can focus it here now to disable this point cloud now just click here and simply just we can play and test over this object now this is looking good here now this is just moving according to over this footage motion here now this is looking good here even if one you can also hide this ground plane so this is actually totally depends on a requirement which object you want to view or hide now this is looking good here so like this just you can create any 3d object and just you can place into this scene here so first layer just save our project here then click on file then click on save project like this if you want to create maybe another object then you can select this point cloud then you can select maybe any then just you can create maybe in any other location so here suppose i want to create another one then you can select maybe this one any one just you can select now again go to this camera view here and just hide this ground plane here so now here just i placed over these two objects into over this scene here and all these objects are just moving according to over this camera movement here then after this finally what we have to do so simply just we have to unplug this footage so if you will see actually by default this footage is direct connected with this camera so that's why this is just showing here this image plane or you can say over this footage here so just we have to unplug it here and only just we have to render all these 3d objects from our this 3d camera track here so remember this one this ever actually render node here so just we are getting this result here so you can see and also just we have to check all these project settings so just you can select this one and just you will get this resolution here which is over this footage size here so again you have to check so if you want to check then simply you can check it here so if you are not getting maybe this this frame size here according to your footage then you have to also check in our this preferences settings so you will see this is our actually composition name whichever this one here and in format so simply just you can check here okay so now in save format just i am getting this result here then after this what we can do so simply just we can take a merge node now control space bar and take a merge node then this original footage will be our background and this render output will be our foreground so same thing just we will get here so now same thing just we are getting here so this is our actually final composting here now finally just a little bit just i am going to import an image and so just select this one here now just minimize this one here and just maybe this is our actually first cube maybe this one here so what we can do just simply just connect with this orange input here connect it here so now we are getting this result here so this is just only for explanation now this is moving here even if you want you can also just disable this second object so here i have selected and just disable this one here so only just we can focus on our this object now control f and just simply we can play and check here so now here if you will see so this object is just moving according to our this camera movements here so guys till here i have completed over this class so in next class we will continue on same project and we will export this camera track from fusion to maya so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching